Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of September 16th, 2020. Uh, let's get right into it because there's a fair amount of variance this week, especially for one title uh, in particular. So let's get to it. First up, we have Batman number 99. Uh, we're at Joker War Part 5. Joker War is just exploding and doing amazing and the tie-ins are really good and all that stuff. And if you're not reading Joker War, you need to. Uh, it's just done, been done really, really well. Can't wait for uh, it to wrap up. Uh, issue 100 is coming out soon. There's going to be a fair amount of variants for that, so be on the lookout. Next up is one that I'm pretty much just finishing out and then purging, and that's Batman's Grave. Um, we all know why I'm just skipping that over. Uh, next up we have the last issue of Billionaire Island, issue 6, Billionaire Island by Mark Russell. Great, great stuff. Uh, I love it. It's fantastic. Um, it's, you know, Mark Russell just has a great, great sense of uh, political satire and just pointing out the ridiculousness of certain things in society right now and it just clicks next up we have <clears throat> bloodshot number eight um, this one's slow to come out but valiant has been slow coming back into it since uh, covid but they're starting to get back into the groove and be releasing product so we'll see how it goes with bloodshot next up we have uh, another uh, anniversary extra size anniversary issue um, and a Joker War Collateral Damage tie-in. And that is Catwoman 25. So we're gonna see what Catwoman's doing during this whole Joker War thing that she kind of helped start. Well, we'll see. Uh, next up is probably the biggest book this week, um, not just size-wise and price-wise, uh, cover price-wise, but also just for, um, I mean, how, uh, how far we've come uh, with this character and when it was introduced and that is detective comics number 1027 uh this cover is the main cover uh it's an uh, andy kubrick cover uh it does wrap around so i'll take it out and show you the wrap so it does wrap around to there uh, it is a whopping ten dollars but it's 144 pages of really really great talent that you guys should definitely at least pick up a copy of because it's a really really good deal um yeah and it's just it's one of those issues that's you know you're gonna want to read next up we have a uh, first tie-in for a book uh for dark knight's death metal and that is uh justice league 53 is crossing over into the de um, death metal universe and so we are going to see what's going to happen i think it's crossing over for issue 53 and 54 i'm not sure about 55 um, but we'll see where uh, the story goes with that. Um, currently, we're kind of in a limbo spot with the story, um, but it will, I think, start to snowball in its progression. Uh, next up is another book that I'm kind of just going to finish up and then kind of, you know, purge out, and that's uh, Metal Man number 10. Uh, this is the Metal Man versus the Jark Multiverse Metal Man. Uh, so we'll see what happens in that. Next up, we have issue 46 of Outcast. Uh, again, Robert Kirkman's Outcast is an amazing, amazing story, amazing book. Uh, it's a really, really slow burn uh, as a read. So if you haven't read it, I mean, grab the graphic novels and pick those up and read them and you'll, you'll get a general sense of it. Robert Kirkman's writing style leads better, I think, to having more uh, than just a handful of issues, like one issue or two issues. I think a bigger chunk of his work is a better way to read it. Next up, we have the new one from Tom Taylor and Boom Studios, and we're on issue two of Seven Secrets. I read the first issue and was entertained, um, engaged, enjoyed it, and so and it made me curious to read issue two. So it is on my pull list, so we'll see if I continue with it. But it was good. Uh, it sets up an interesting uh, concept and story uh, within the first few pages of the, uh, the first issue. And you kind of just, you're on the go from there. So, yeah, if you have not yet checked it out, uh, stores that ordered, I, I, there is a returnability on number one. So your stores should have ordered plenty of number ones. It's number twos where you're probably going to start having a problem if you do end up like in a series. Because, of course, stores cut their orders of number two. So, next up is a new one from Chip Zdarsky um, and uh, with art by Raymond K. Perez. And that is from Image and that's Stillwater number one. Uh, I read the preview of it and thought it was an interesting concept of a, a town where nobody can die. Uh, so I'm going to kind of, I'm curious. So I'm picking up issue one to see if it's something that I'm going to enjoy. 
And last but not least on the pull list, we have um, Teen Titans number 45. Uh, again, just Teen Titans has been one of those books that's just, you know, it's going, it's on the chopping block with DC, but it's not horrible. But I think it's definitely something that we need to find it. They, they need to find a different direction uh, to take the Teen Titans or potentially the Titans. So that's it for the single issues that I brought home, um, not including variants. We're going to do the variant pile next. Uh, so first up we have uh, the variant for Batman 99. So I snagged that bad boy up uh, there. Um, Catwoman 25 had an amazing, uh, uh, amazing, amazing cover. So I grabbed that one up as well. Uh, Deceased Dead Planet had a peach, um, peach mamoka, I think mamoka, mamaka, I don't know how to say the last name. Uh, hot artist uh, do the cover for the fourth printing of issue one and so it's a poison ivy cover there we order plenty so there's a ton at, at comics conspiracy so if it's a cover that you're like oh i need to get that but my shop didn't get it go to comicsconspiracy.biz and we, you can order it and we'll ship it out to you uh and finally for just like the regular comics i got uh justice league the variant to justice league uh 53 for the death metal because you know they're battling Star Row. It looks awesome. Uh, this is where the variants are going to get a little crazy. Um, and a lot of you might go, you are insane, Brock, for getting all of those. But hey, I'm a sucker for the specials. Um, and uh, especially when they're all really good covers. So I'm just going to go through these alphabetical order by last name um, of the artist. Uh, and then I will do the special one at the end. Uh, so yeah, so first up we have the Lieber Mejo. A uh, variant cover for Detective Comics number 1027. Kind of the homage to that original art there. Uh, J. Scott Campbell is gave us a, another one with Batman and Batgirl in the Batcave. Uh, so if you notice a trend, uh, each, uh, each artist got a character to draw with Batman. Uh, so J. Scott Campbell got Batgirl. Lieber Mayho got Nightwing, Robin. He threw it over uh, next one is Jim Chung. Uh, he gave us the 1007 with Batman and Bane. Uh, Oliver Copil gave us a wonderful Harley Quinn and Batman cover for 1027. Uh, Gabriel Del Otto, we got a Batman and Scarecrow cover. Um, um, Adam Hughes did a variant cover, of course, with the ever wonderful Catwoman down there on the bottom. Not my most favorite color cover. Uh, and once you see the letter T here, it's you can't unsee it. It's it yeah, it's weird. Uh, Stanley Art Germ Lau did a uh, Batwoman Batman variant, so I snagged that one up. Uh, Jim Lee did a variant cover with, of course, the Superman. Um, but for me, that Superman face is not necessarily the like, I don't equate that with a Jim Lee face. It's kind of weird. But hey, whatever. Uh, next up is the Frank Quietly. Uh, well, we have him with Damien. Uh, and you can tell it's Damien because of just how angry this Robin looks. Uh, Mark Silvestri. That's a name that a lot of people haven't heard in a while. And uh, definitely people in the, like, 80s and 90s have heard of him um, in early 2000s. But we have Mark Silvestri did a cover with Joker. And so you have a Batman versus Joker on the Mark Silvestri variant there. Uh, so we are up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different variants that were open order variants for stores to order. Uh, that is over and above and beyond the regular wraparound cover by Andy Kubrick. Um, but we did get a random blue. I don't, I don't know why this, if this, this is like the old school costume blue, maybe. Uh, but we got a blank cover for Detective. So we're, we're sitting right now at 12 covers. Yeah, that's a lot of covers. And there's one more. Uh, and it is the Comics Conspiracy uh, exclusive variant cover. Um, I will show you. Uh, let me grab this one here because this one's open. Uh, this is the store exclusive variant here. By Mitch Gerard, Ger, Gerards, <sighs> Gerards, Gerards, Mitch Gerards. Uh, amazing, amazing cover. Uh, partially awesome and amazing because if you look right there, 
That's a kite man. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, but there is reflected in bigger glass panels um, different villains and characters. So it's a really, really intricate cover. Really, really well done. Um, of course, it also has our our uh, store logo and stuff on the back there. You can check out. It's really, really well done. I uh, can't wait to, to get um, the signed ones back from Mitch. Uh, hopefully within the next week or two. Uh, because we do are we are doing a limited amount of signed ones uh, 250 to be exact they will come with a certificate of authenticity that I think will kind of be a troll thing but definitely a, a legit um, thing for you to check out but we have plenty available if you want to get a copy of for yourself uh, head over to comicsconspiracy.biz it's one of the uh, like things on the banner you can click on it and you're good to go and buy it through there or if you head over to the store's eBay page, there's links in the description below of this video, so you can just click on those if you just want to make it easier on yourself. But uh, yeah, it's definitely an amazing cover, and you should you should get one for your collection, honestly. But yeah, that's a lot, a lot of covers uh, for Detective uh, 27. Part of me feels like I need to like go find another one online and buy it so that I don't have the unlucky 13 covers. I have 14, but uh, you know I would want to go to 15, so. I don't know. I might stick with 13. Uh, I did grab some <clears throat> uh, some graphic novels came in this week for me. Uh, and we'll go over those real quick. First up from Black Label, we have Joker Killer Smile. Uh, this actually only has... Oh, no, it, it does, uh, it does um, collect all three issues of the Black Label series as well as its one shot, uh, the Batman Killer Smile. So that is in here. Um, so the, I think the Amazon... In description is wrong. Uh, this is the thinnest by far of the uh, black labels that I've picked up, but it's a really, really good story. Uh, Jeff Lemire does an amazing job. Andre and Sorrentino's artwork is, is amazing. It's just one of those things where you, you definitely need to check out Joker Killer Smile. Um, speaking of Jeff Lemire and him being amazing, uh, the oversized uh, hardcover collection of his Royal City came out. Uh, I, Jeff Lemire is amazing. His small town stuff is great. Uh, Royal City is no exception. It is a fantastic read. Check it out yourself. Uh, this is a nice deluxe hardcover version of the series, so I can't wait to have that on my shelf. And finally, I got my Star Wars epic collection, The Empire, Volume 6. Yeah! Uh, I don't have 1 through 5 because they were destroyed, so... Uh, it's going to be like that for a while, like, cause I'm, I'm still getting this stuff as it's coming out. Um, but yeah, I got to start grabbing up those other, uh, graphic novels. Uh, the ones that are getting a little harder to get. <sighs> so again, there's a link there. There's a list of the ones I need. So if you're at your shop and you see it at your shop, let me know. Uh, so yeah. But I'm slowly replacing my uh, epic collections for Star Wars, uh, and uh, yeah. So, uh, the um, Batman Day is coming up, I believe, Saturday. So today is the 16th, so Thursday is the 17th, Friday is the 18th, and Saturday is the 19th. So yeah, so I think Batman Day is officially the 19th of this month. Um, they're not really doing too much, uh, but they are, funny enough, uh, passing out um, masks. Uh, we got masks in for it, uh, but it's more for the 80th anniversary of these characters and not Batman Day. So, don't really expect shops to do too much for Batman Day, uh, at least for giving out swag. But, for the 80th anniversary of some of these characters, we got some pretty cool masks. So, for Joker, we got an animated Joker 80th anniversary mask. Uh, there is, of course, the wonderful face-off Joker from Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Uh, was this? Oh, no, that was, I guess, in Detective. He did that. But the new 52 Joker. Um, there is the old-school Joker right there. Um, this is actually Ryan Sook artwork. With, it's inspired by Neil Adams. Uh, and then we have uh, the Joker from the Frank Miller Dark Knight returns stuff so yeah that's the 80th anniversary joker masks you they also did some um 
anniversary masks for uh, uh, another character. Let me put these in a better order. Uh, another character that came out this year with their 80th anniversary, and that is Catwoman. So we got an animated Catwoman mask. See a theme? Uh, we got the old school purple costume with that gray cape or green cape. Love this costume. It's just so fun and amazing. Uh, you could all, but yeah. Then we got the costume that came after the Valiant costume. This is the Tim Sale costume from the, that era of Catwoman. And then, of course, we got the wonderful Joelle Jones for the modern look of Catwoman there. Uh, and, yeah, Joelle Jones is just super amazing uh, with her art. So your stores might potentially have those. You can pick those up. If they have them, cool. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, that's it for this week's poll list. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below if you're picking up anything, if you have any questions, all that stuff. Please keep it nice. The internet's a horrible place, spreading mostly disinformation. Uh, so yeah, so let's let's try to keep that to a minimum here. I mean, making a mistake and saying something wrong is one thing, but m m doing it on purpose is a complete other, and you just should never be an asshole like that, uh, if only. Um, so yeah, um, but you can listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. We just finished recording episode 467, uh, where we talk sales charts. Oh, they're coming back, baby. Uh, and uh, we talk a little bit about the, some of the movie stuff that's uh, news that's been happening with what movies uh, coming out in theaters. And, and some of the plans that uh, <clears throat> uh, Jim Lee shot down with 5G is not is never going to be a thing. So, uh, yeah, check it out. There's a link in the description below. You can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting fees and getting product and stuff. So thank you very much to all of our backers. It helps out immensely. Um, you need to head over to Kickstarter. There's a link in the description below for both of these. One is to back Scott Snyder and Tony Daniels, um, Noctera. Uh, they hit their stretch goal of 200,000 and there's only about like, uh, less than 24 hours left. But if you want to get in on this exclusive deal for Kickstarter, you should link in the description below. Check it out as well as Aster of Pan is something else that I'm backing. Uh, they're close to their stretch. I think they hit their stretch goal for the, the, I think they have one more stretch goal to hit. They have about 28 or there's about a little less than 24, a little, little, yeah, they're under 20 hours, I think now, uh, of time, but there's a link in the description below. It looks fun. It's dodge. It's like hunger games meets, meets dodgeball and it's set in an apocalyptic era. The artwork looks amazing. Uh, it's a peach, peach variant cover, uh, for it. So check that out. Again, link in the description below, and it's out of time. So if you watch my video tonight and you go on there, cool. If you watch my video tomorrow morning, you're probably still cool. But if you're watching this tomorrow night, probably going to be gone for both of those. So jump on those if you can. Uh, they're great, great things. Um, you can help me out a little more directly uh, by clicking on any of the Amazon links here on my uh, YouTube channel or over at conspiratorbrock.com. Uh, any of those will take you to the thing that you clicked on and you can purchase that or you can find something else and buy that. Thank you for all everybody who does that. Getting Amazon gift cards here and there helps out immensely. Um, as well as if you want to head over to my eBay page where I'm constantly purging out stuff. I just put up a Dial H uh, run, run to 12 with an extra number one uh, variant cover. So that's up now. Uh, I have a log box right here. <laughs> that I need to get stuff up from. Um, but yeah, I'm just constantly cycling and purging and, and I'm pretty pretty sure going to start doing some trades and stuff on there. So be on the lookout for that stuff. Um, yeah, I am tired. I've been shipping all week. Uh, Sunday, Monday, I was shipping. Tuesday, I was finalizing or, you know, taking stuff to the post office and UPS. I packed up so many things. I dropped off so many packages. Uh, if you're watching my Twitter feed, you saw pretty much what I done all weekend with uh, packing. So, yeah. But uh, I'm tired and I'm going to get out of here. Follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. And as usual, be safe out there, people. Uh, the West Coast is burning and all crazy. And the South is, is pretty much getting drenched with water and it's all nasty. Just be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>